In this video, we are going to collect the data for trials one and trials two of our reaction rate rocket lab. So if you notice from the sheet, we are going to use half an Alka-Seltzer tablet for each trial. We're going to do 15 milliliters of tap, 15 of hot, 15 of cold, and 15 ml of tap with powder instead of a tablet to talk about all the different ways we can speed up the rates of reaction. I'm going to do both trials at the same time, and what you're going to do is looking at the um, video, I mean, you're gonna have to go back and really count it out, count out the, use the um, video timestamp to figure out how many seconds it takes from the time you hear the rocket, which is this little film canister, click close. So you're listening for that click, and then go back and check how many seconds it takes for the rocket to, uh, to pop open again. So let's do the first trial, which is going to be 15 milliliters of tap water. So I've got 15 of tap. We're gonna do both trials. All right, so we're gonna take half an ounce Alka-Seltzer tablet, drop it in. You're gonna check the time from the moment you hear the click to the moment you hear the rocket go off. So there was our first one. Now we're gonna do it again. Same thing. You're gonna record the time from the moment you hear the click to, to the point at which the rocket pops. So those were our two tap waters. Those were our controls. The next two that we're going to do are going to be hot water. So hot, you should be able to guess what's going to happen uh, when we use hot water. So there's my 15 ml of hot. And then here's the next tablet. And remember, once you hear the click to the pop. much faster hopefully my phone is still working because it hit the phone in that case next one I'm gonna do tap again so we're doing both trials at the sound in a row all right next one we're gonna use 15 ml of ice water. So I got a Poland Springs bottle that I just took out of the freezer. There's some ice in there, so this water's nice and cold. Um, you should be able to figure out uh, what's gonna happen for this one. Just need to get myself a little extra Alka-Seltzer. As I go, I didn't realize I didn't have enough. All right, so here's my half tablet. Let's get my cold water. That's cold.
So you noticed that cold took a little bit longer. We are going to do a second trial of the cold, so bear with me. Here we go, second trial of cold. All right, so that was the last cold. Now for powder, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a half a tablet and we're gonna crush it up using a mortar and pestle. Now the powder is gonna react really fast because it has very high surface area. So what I'm gonna do is, so that it doesn't just literally explode in my hands, I'm gonna put it into a dry container first, and then I'm gonna add the tap water last. And I'm hoping that by adding the tap water last, it'll allow me to get a better result. And I'm gonna transfer that amount of water to a beaker, just because the beaker's actually faster to pour. So I got my cap. So remember, once you hear the click. Oh, that one did not work. I didn't get it on fast enough. So let's try another one. So second one for powder. I'm gonna leave it in there. Here's my water, there's my powdered. Let's give it a try. I'm gonna do it reverse so only the top will pop off. So it seems like it didn't work. It is pressurized, so if I pop the top. Hmm. We're gonna try it one more time. Maybe two more times. I've got, got one tablet left, so let's try it again. So there's my powder, and then Let's see if I can't load my water fast enough. All right, let's try this one more time. 
There we go, that one worked. We're gonna do it one more time, just so we can get two data points for each one. So let me crush up the tablet. Load it. So there's our last one. Get some tap water. And let's see how it works. So last one. So there it goes. So they both worked. Um, so what you are going to do, just to rem uh, remind you, is you are going to um, go back and watch the video and use the time on the video to figure out how much time it takes from the, the moment you hear that click of that top closed to the amount of time uh, until the uh, rocket launched. And then you're going to write it in trial one, trial two. So we did two of each. We had... Um, I guess one or two that didn't work, and then we, we got two successful ones of every one. So you're gonna fill in this entire chart. Then there's some questions um, about which ones sped the reaction up, which ones slowed it down. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use our very first trial, which is half a tablet with tap water, as our control. So that's our standard. So if it went faster, if it took less time than the control, then it sped the reaction up. And if it took more time than the control, then it actually slowed the reaction down. And that's how you're doing it. And then there's some questions on the back. Um, they're pretty easy. You should be able to figure out four. Um, and then five is straight out of the notes. So that's everything you need for this lab.